Good morning from the garden, more specifically from the food forest part of our plot. I will put a link to our design in the description box below so that you can get an idea of the overall design of the plot. But today I want to concentrate mainly on the herb layer of the food forest garden and how we're developing it over time. Roughly speaking, food forest consists of three layers, tree layer, shrub layer and herb layer, out of which obviously the tree layer is the most permanent one, the shrub layer the one that can be rearranged more easily and the herb layer the one that will change the most over time. We started our food forest in January 2016 by planting the shrubs uh, and the large shrubs and the trees and we're gradually developing the herb layer as well. But before we can start planting it up we need to get rid of the perennial weeds that are really abundant here and we do that by covering the ground with cardboard for one season which will kill the weeds and that means the next year after that we can start planting our herb layer. We are working in strips because planting up the herb layer requires a lot of plants and I'm uh, propagating most of them myself. I could not possibly plant up the whole plot at once and also it's a lot of work uh, to do the covering so we're working in phases and uh, you can see me standing in the part of the garden that was covered in the first season right after we planted the first trees and shrubs. Um, that means in 2016 and in 2017, a year later in the spring, I could plant it up uh, with a mix of perennial vegetables and herbs. And I want to show you that part of the garden in more detail. Most of the plants in this part of the herb layer are edible, but some of them have other functions too. They can be pollinator extractants, they can be mulch plants or they can be nutrient uh, accumulators. For example, rhubarb here is a great mulch plant um, because we only eat the stalks and the large leaves are great mulch material. Next to it are hostas, which are usually grown as an ornamental, uh, but are um, grown as vegetable in Japan. Like you can eat most of the plant, you can eat the young shoots, you can eat the flowers. And both of these plants are quite shade tolerant which is why I planted them here in the shade of this uh, tree. This one was planted earlier, not by us, which is why it's uh, larger. And this is also a good example of how the herb layer will develop over time because the light levels will change. You can also see that I'm planting a lot of the plants in groups because um, one, that makes um, harvesting easier and two, it makes the plants more resilient as a group because of course there's a difference in how vigorous the plants in the herb layer are and uh, some of them are more rampant and would overrun the rest and if you plant the more um, the less resilient plants as a group then they then you give them more fighting chance but let's have a look uh, at the other plants as well Other edibles here are for example Good King Henry which you can use uh, as a spinach substitute or uh, um, salad burnet, which is a much smaller plant and here too it's important to plant them in a group. There are chives over here, fennel, ladies mantle over there, which you can also eat in spring as a salad. And right now there, it's, it's also a, an important medicinal plant, but um, as you can see now it's flowering and it's a really great pollinator plant as well. Can you see the bumblebee over here? There are a few plants that are not edible, like foxgloves here. Um, it's a, this is a plant that is in fact poisonous, though it was used as a med medicine for the heart in medieval times. But we, no we do not grow it uh, to use it, we grow it because um, bees love it too. And um, it's a very easy plant that self sows it's a biennial. So uh, all I need to do is just not pull out some of the plants that appear spontaneously. Another important plant here in the herb layer and one that we have several patches of throughout the garden is comfrey. It has multiple functions in the garden. It is a great pollinator attractant and there are several bees and bumblebees on it right now. But it is also a plant that has deep roots and is capable of accessing minerals um, deeper in the soil. So you can use it as a chop and drop mulch 
If you cut it and put the leaves around your other plants, they will decompose and the nutrients will become available for other plants as well. There are more plants that attract beneficial insects, like for example sweet sicily here, which attracts hoverflies, uh, which in turn eat aphids. But it's also an edible plant, a herb with aniseed-like flavor. We have mint here. This is Moroccan mint, great for tea, but also one that attracts bees. And then there are plants like mullein here, verbascum, um, a medicinal plant, but also a superb pollinator plant. The very first plant that we planted in our food forest is this walnut tree. Uh, it is a tree that we, uh, two varieties of walnuts are grafted on, Broadview and Red Donau. And eventually this will become the largest tree in the garden. And this is also a good example of um, like long, uh, short term and long term permaculture design. Because um, I planted some lupin around here, which is a great nitrogen fixer. But it requires quite a lot of sun, so it will disappear when this tree gets larger. But then the walnut tree will not, no longer need it. But I have another a nitrogen fixer here, which is a shrub, um, Elagnus ebbingae, and that one is will take over the function, the nitrogen fixing function, um, as the tree grows. The herb layer of our young food forest is already giving us a bountiful harvest of edible and medicinal plants. But equally important is the diversity in wildlife that it attracts. There are bees and bumblebees and hoverflies. There was a ladybird here uh, right now. And this really contributes to the overall health of the food forest. I hope you enjoyed this look at how our food forest is gradually developing. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Happy gardening!